Hello everybody, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2, again, for the first time, totally. Yep, haven't tried doing this two other times before. Uh, we're in the Xfinity series for a hot seat at Michigan. I said a lot of things related to um, uh, Michigan before the game crashed the first time, and I don't remember what they were, so we're just going to jump right into it here in Michigan. I'm watching you, video game. All right, we made it this time. We made it. We live. All right. I don't think we've been to Michigan in the game before, have we? Maybe we did it in the trucks. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember anymore. I don't remember. Okay, so garage. We're in the JD Motorsports Chevrolet, a team that's kind of a prolific user of social media and has made quite a name for themselves in that regard. Alright. Should be a pretty fast track for these cars. Oh, that's what I was saying. Jimps, Jimps our resident NASCAR expert, has told us this race is going to be excellent and action-packed. So I'm holding him to that. This really shouldn't take too much practice, I would think. Michigan, unlike Fontana, has been repaved recently. And... Pretty easy to drive now. It's old enough that the groove has widened out, but new enough that it has a lot of grip. It's very smooth. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so far, I have not lifted. I have to imagine on older tires, you will. Has more banking than Fontana. That it do. That it do. Some of the craziest racing I've ever seen in my life. And easily some of the most dangerous. It was way back when the kart series did ovals and they went to Michigan. Because it was a 230 mile an hour pack racing draft fest. It was really, really something. But as mentioned, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And unfortunately, uh, one of my earliest racing memories was actually the, uh, the passing of Greg Moore at Michigan in the kart race one of the first, like, racing fatalities that I remember. Ah, uh, yeah, it's starting to not be so easy on the open throttle now. Like said, we should need a lot of practice. We'll just throw some tape on there for a qualifying setup and be good to go. Oh, that's an easy bit right ahead. Throw some tape on for quality. Will do. Probably, um... Well, thanks, Jumps. Probably... 60% since it's a big track. Uh, let's go to the setup first. Lots of that. I'm going to take a little bit of that out, try and get the nose down for qualifying. Tape it all up. Tape up the windshield. Tape up the driver's net. Tape it all up. Let's go 60. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Uh, Jim's just said the words blow up, so I'm going 55. Now I'm going to be slow, but that's fine. We, we don't really have any huge pressure to perform here. It's a hot seat. Uh, all right, next session, why? Why, though? Why next session? And qualify. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Get these rev a little higher. Should they? I'm not sure that they should. <laughs> But it seems like they want to.
I really don't know why they would. Hmm. I don't know. I thought Trunks and Xfinity were using the same spacer these days. Uh, same restrictor plate, basically. Uh, that's how uh, that's how Mazda ended up getting uh, their qualifying runs disqualified for Sebring is they were taping up the bodywork on their cars, which is against IMSA's rules. <laughs> oh, it did not stick. It did not stick at all. Oh, holy cow! I actually knew a NASCAR fact, and Jim's backed it up. Well, I don't think this is going to be a great qualifying lap then. It's fine in three and four, but didn't want to stick in one. Twenty ninth. Oh, there are thirty nine cars in this field though, so that's not as bad as as it sounded. I think. I think. Get off that qualifying setup. My pre race drinks in. Alright. And start the race. What gear are we in? It doesn't tell you. You just have to look. Alright, we were in first this time. What's nice is uh, we can. We can be as aggressive as we want to in these races, because the rivalries don't uh, don't carry over. And I gotta imagine the draft is pretty strong here. Hashtag Teal Nation. What in the world is that sponsor for? I've probably already asked that multiple times. It's the 86 car. Is it the default car in NASCAR 2003? Or is that the 82? It was 86. Get booped. Coastal Carolina University. Seems like we might want to go to the high side here. Oh, thank you for getting right out of my way. That was very kind of you. I'm coming over. Oh, the draft. Oh, the draft. Again, Keselowski is uh, in the back of the pack. Fred Jones, number 86. All right, 82 is Kirk's number. Yeah, I remember that 86 car, because whenever you did a, a NASCAR 2003 pickup race, which meant like an open lobby race, and you saw somebody driving the 86 car, you stayed the hell away from them, because that meant they had uh, basically not played the game very much yet. <laughs> I go here. Nowhere is the answer. So like white cars and iRacing, yes, very similar. Very similar. It's a pretty good draft here. Pretty good draft. Didn't they change it to black, did they? I had not heard of such things. Yeah, it's not sticking quite as well as it was. I can't remember what the default was. It the if it was the default car in NASCAR 4 and NASCAR. Uh, oh man, that was a kerfuffle that we avoided narrowly. I mean, like NASCAR 2, NASCAR 1999. I don't know if it was or not. That was quite a kerfuffle.
the number changed around, but the name is always the same. Okay. I never played 2K2. Uh, I was more into NASCAR Heat in that era, uh, before NASCAR Heat became this. Ooh, not much sticky there. NASCAR, oh man, that's my favorite branch of NASCAR. You're just trying to uh, make sure the world knows that there, Jims? Is that a PSA? Aw, oh, we could have had him, maybe. All right, we're 18th. That was our goal, wasn't it? All right, what's the pit strategy look like? Nobody's pitting. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, we have 25 laps remaining. 16 laps fuel will pit the next time. Onwards! Holy crap, I got a decent start. When has that ever happened? Now, where did Armorola get all that speed? <laughs> where did that come from? Which I'm sure is what a lot of NASCAR fans are saying this season, as he's doing quite well in his Stuart NASCAR and never really showed a lot of speed at uh, his last gig, which I think is a true testament to just how bad RPM, or uh, whatever it is called these days, Petty, actually is. <laughs> We're three wide. Don't door jammy. Thank you. Bubba got way too cocky. I disagree. Social media and media got too cocky about Bubba after Daytona. I think uh, he knew exactly what he was getting into. Because when you like, listen to his radio during the races, he doesn't sound angry, he doesn't sound frustrated, he's just like, he's just learning. He's just, he, did, he knows he's got to learn the sport and he's just trying to absorb it. I never saw any of that, <laughs> personally. I saw a lot of people saying he would, and maybe he was to try and woo uh, sponsors and stuff like that. He certainly is a a very good uh, spokesman, I guess. He's really he's really good at handling the media stuff. Will he ever be, you know, a top driver? Much, uh, much to be seen there. Get crowded. I really think my NASCAR uh, alliance, allegiance, the driver I'm pulling for these days is, is quickly turning into Blaney. I think Blaney is of the new crop of kids. Ugh. I can now refer to NASCAR drivers as kids. Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> um, entering the sport that I like. He's, he's just got a, he's got good speed. He drives with a lot of guts and he has a, you know, a, an interesting personality and I think he's a good uh, balance unlike my voice a good balance for 
for Logano and Keselowski because uh, they're kind of, you know, pricks. Kids! Kids, I say! Like, they're literally... A lot of them are, like, literally 10 years younger than me. <laughs> Which is crazy. One more lap, huh? That was a run. Uh, I think Bain's still riding on that success of Daytona. He's still riding that victory. People still remember that. That's how he's still around. Which is fine. <laughs> There's been plenty of NASCAR drivers to do that. Derek Cope. Oh man, he's a modern Derek Cope. I feel like we kind of stalled at this point. 14th. Made some spots. Uh, pitting. Pitting. I'm going to do can and a half and two. Can and a half or a can? We were only a couple laps short. I'm going to do a can. What, what could go wrong? All right, I didn't get a half. <laughs> eh, I guess we should have taken a can. Oh well. starts here. I'm not used to having decent starts. What can I say? Oh, everybody watches wide right there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. I think I'm clear high. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man, that was a good save. That was a good save. I may need some new pants. <laughs> Dorif Do at 180 miles an hour. to remember to stop trying to run down into their doors. Yeah, I would like to post a, uh, a video message. Stop swiping into me. <laughs> I really want to get to the top ten. That would be cool. Still ten laps to go. Is that going to be the uh, the thing they update for the next NASCAR Heat game? Everything else the same, same physics, same bugs. Everything the same, except you'll be able to do you'll be able to choose like from three video responses that you can tweet at the virtual drivers. That'll be their big advance. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. I'd probably play it. <laughs> 
three. <laughs> All right, maybe two. Maybe two different video options. Here's a run. With nowhere to go. Well, so much for the run. Oh man, they take an awkward line into there. They're killing their speed because of it. They seem to try so hard to block that they they mess up their entry to the turns. Hi there. Driving it in. Mm, kind of stuck. <laughs> it's Sorez. Causes some game crashes. You're not wrong. There we go. Alright, pool. I'm with you. Let's go. You're gonna go. Gosh darn it. Well, hello, Sadler. So nice to see you. Remember me, pool. <laughs> I pushed you there. I'm going to do with Sadler, too. Let's try it. Oh, he lifted it big time. Would have been great if it would have stuck down there. I gotta say, so far, in my limited experience, I much prefer the way these cars drive to the trucks. They seem a little bit more balanced. It's like they're cars instead of trucks. Or something. Weird. Smaller wheelbase does wonders. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I used to really like the trucks in 2K3. They were my favorite of the ovals. Oval series to run. Thanks for opening the bottom. I don't know why though, but you did. Darn Sadler. He's just trying to lose his positions for the end of the race. That was a Jimps joke. Drive it in. Not many laps left now. We're going to use up these tires. What if I could push pool all the way to that group ahead of us? I'd like to try. Are those even cars for racing? Are they lap cars? No, they got to be cars for racing. Let's get up to them. Draft, please. Weird. <laughs> it did not really pull till too late. 
worried he was about to lose it. Yeah, I might just have to wait for him to leave a gap. I'm not really getting the run I was. Of course, he's now pulling a draft all those cars in front of him. That's not going to help me. That's not how you spell pool, either. This guy's got to learn how to spell their names. All right, here we go. And we're only going to get beside him, though. No, nope. I don't think we quite have enough motor to motor by him. Ooh, tight off. Yeah, he might, um, he might pull a little draft off those cars, but not much. They looked closer than they, they... They appeared closer in my windshield than they actually were. <laughs> it did not work. <laughs> that did not work at all. <laughs> uh... Ninth place, not too shabby. Sideswipe for eighth place. Hey, every position counts, chimps. Every position counts. Up to 30th in points. Uh, Alk Iron, fancy slap. Most laps led. Chimps, I think you were right about Michigan. Hey, we were on the move. Yeah, we were, because we qualified terribly. I guess my qualifying setup sucked. Tough break for Kevin Harvick. Probably tried to side swipe on somebody and uh, uh, crashed himself. That's a wrap. And uh, we shouldn't have any post-race tweets or anything. Nice job on that top 15 finish. Wow, I thought it was 18th. So glad I, uh, <laughs> glad I did better than expected. Uh, we'll keep you in mind for next season. I bet you will. Hundred and five thousand dollars. I thought it was a hundred thousand. Hmm. Weird. What's up next? Up next will be Iowa and the trucks. Sounds like a good time, so stay tuned for that. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you in Iowa. Alright, I guess that was somewhat decent of an outro.